Uh, hi there, Jonathan. Um, just further on to some of our scanning homework that we've done for WFN uh, that we now we're just trying to uh, achieve some of the compression uh, goals that yourself, uh, Chad, and Mike uh, probably had. So we've done a little bit of playing. You'll notice we did a test and it came out unfortunately with a, kind of a crash, a gray screen um, when we tried to use this JBIG2 compression. That's our maximum compression methodology that RICO can achieve. But unfortunately, this is a weird anomaly, and we think we've discovered where this anomaly is. I do want to kind of just bring to your attention, um, we've done some testing. These two are, are black and white files. Um, when we use something called an MMR compression, a 300 DPI, four-page file we've been using all the way along as your test file that we got from you guys. It's normally a, a megabyte here. You can sort of see that here. If we uh, change our machine to JBIG2, uh, we can get it all the way down to 226 and still be in a text photo mode. Uh, so that means you get grayscale and uh, text uh, footage. If we go all the way down to text mode, which is a, kind of a pure black and a pure white, uh, with JBEG on, we can get it all the way down to 77K. We've done that on Mike's machine, but that may not be what everybody wants throughout your office. Quite often we leave it on text photo, and 226 is actually pretty good. Uh, however, we with JBEG 2, we had an issue. Now, there's an issue uh, that can be with people using Windows 10. Whenever they upgrade to Windows 10, uh, good old Microsoft uh, makes Edge as the default viewer for uh, PDFs. And you see this little icon with a blue E, which stands for Edge in it. And if I double click on this file and I open it up, this is what we were seeing, and I suspect this is what your staff were seeing, is this gray screen. Now, if I close the Edge viewer, I right mouse click on this JBIG2 compression file, and I say, please open with Acrobat, either Reader or I've got Pro loaded. I'm going to pick Reader because that's the cheap version. And I open it up. Well, this is then I get a proper viewing. And I'm just curious to know, uh, and it might be fun for Wade and I just to kind of maybe follow up with whoever opened up these files to see if they did happen to have uh, Edge uh, defaulted. I was just over at our uh, Selkirk College in the West Kootenays, and they just got new computers, and they had Edge and I had to help them show them how to make um, Acrobat their default viewer. Because normally what happens is if you get a new computer, you have to right mouse click, uh, you come down to properties, and you say uh, down here, please open uh, with Acrobat, do not open with Edge. Edge is the default, and you make that now your default viewer, you hit apply, you're done, and now you'll see that uh, it's a different icon. So now anytime I open up a file, it's going to open up in an Acrobat product uh, versus an Edge product. So we still get the same compression settings and all the same performance that we've been trying to help you guys get to you know, compress your files. Unfortunately, um, we suspect that you might have an Edge viewer scenario, and uh, you brought that up today in our meeting that kind of you you'd mentioned that they had tried a few different applications. I just wanted to double check and just confirm on your office if maybe that's what the solution is as well. Uh, hope this has made sense. We'll check in with you later, uh, but this is what we learned.